This is a very useful cast on to learn since it allows you to expose a live edge of knit stitches that you can use for all sorts of things, including knitting in the other direction, doing a three needle bind off, making sort of a folded hem to a garment and then binding off here. And uh, we're gonna use this provisional cast on here to prepare this end to graft with the other end of the cowl. Now there are a few different ways of doing a provisional cast on and I'm going to show you two ways, both using Using a crochet hook. In the first method, I'm going to take my crochet hook and some scrap yarn and I'm going to chain a crochet chain. So I'm going to make my crochet chain uh, a few stitches longer than the actual knitted piece. So if I am casting on 10 stitches for knitting, I'm going to make my crochet chain about 15 or 16 chain stitches long. Then I am going to cut off the yarn and I'm gonna tie a knot in the end so that I know which end to pull from when I'm finished with this crochet chain. Then I'm gonna just take that end and pull it through the loop to close it off. So there you've got your crochet chain. Now looking at your crochet chain, you can see that there are two distinct sides to the chain. There's one side that is uh, where all these V shapes are forming. And then on the other side are all these bumps. And so in order to do my provisional cast on, I will take my knitting needle and stick it into each one of these bumps and pull up a stitch onto my needle. So here's the actual yarn that I'm gonna be using. So basically I take my needle tip insert it under it, each one of these bumps, making sure to catch the whole yarn. And then I'll take my actual yarn, wrap it around the needle as if to knit it. And then I'm gonna pull that up onto my right hand needle. So that's one stitch. And then I'll go to the next bump along the chain. I'll put my needle tip underneath this bump, wrap the yarn around as if to knit, and then pull up a stitch. And I'm going to continue along this way until I pick up all the stitches that I need to pick up. So in this case, I'm going to aim to pick up 10 stitches. So again, looking at this backside where the crochet chain is and looking at those bumps, sticking the needle tip underneath each one of these bumps, wrapping the yarn around as if to knit, and then pulling it through that loop. So that is my provisional cast on using the first method where we're basically picking up through the bumps of a crochet chain. And so from this point on, you can just turn your work and you can start knitting here. Now, if working through each bump and pulling up stitches is not working for you, you might be interested in trying the second method of working a provisional cast on with a crochet hook. So basically, in this method, we'll be making the crochet chain on the knitting needle and those bumps that we were trying to pick up through will be formed directly on the knitting needle. Then all we need to do is knit with our actual yarn across the crochet chain and that will pick up the stitches so that we can begin knitting. So here's how we do it. We're gonna take our crochet hook and chain a few stitches just to get started. Okay, so I have three on my chain so far. Then I'm gonna pick up my knitting needle and I'm gonna hold it next to my hook, wrapping the yarn around the back of the knitting needle. Now I'm gonna try and form my next chain stitch. So as I wrap that yarn around, I'm gonna grab hold of it with my hook and then I'm going to pull that through to make my chain stitch. Okay, I'm gonna snug it all up a little bit. Okay, and then taking this yarn, I'm gonna move it in between the hook and the needle tip and move it around to the back again. So now it's ready to make the second loop. So again, with my crochet hook, I'm going around the yarn, picking up that yarn, moving it through this little loop, my chain stitch, and you can see now I have two chain stitches on the left hand needle or on my needle, knitting needle. I'm gonna again, take this working yarn in between the tip of the crochet hook and the tip of my needle and move it to the back. And that prepares it so that I can catch it again 
to make my next chain. So you probably don't want to do this too tightly, otherwise it will be very difficult. So each time making my chain onto the knitting needle and then moving my yarn to the back again. And there we go. So let's see how many stitches we have cast on so far. Two, three, five, ten. Let's make it fifteen. Okay, so if I've cast on fifteen stitches onto my needle and then this is what I'm going to knit through. Um, to finish off my crochet chain I'm just going to do a couple of chain stitches. Free and easy chain stitches here. And again just like I did before I'm going to break the yarn and then I will just tie a knot into this little end here. Open up this loop a little bit and pull that end through the loop. So now you have a crochet chain directly on the knitting needle and so all I need to do next is pick up my working yarn and I can knit across these stitches. There we go. So now we are at the same point that we were at with the first method and now you're ready to begin your project. Now normally you knit across all of your stitches to pick up the stitches and begin your project. Now since our project is going to be five by five ribbing I can actually knit five stitches, purl five stitches and then knit five stitches to get started. But if you don't know how to work the purl stitch let's go to the next video and I'll show you how to do that. If you do know how to work the purl stitch you can continue on with knitting your cowl now. Basically knit five stitches alternating with purling five stitches back and forth until you create a big long scarf and then when you run out of the silk mist or when you think your cowl is long enough to wrap around your neck twice, you can move on to the Kitchener step.